Good morning. I'm going to get my chair and bring it over here. You want to sit down right there in front of that little yellow spot there? That would be nice. Come on up. I've got a, a, a spot right over there you guys can sit at. Yeah, just come right around. You guys can all sit together because you're from the same house. That's good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you ever heard of the show Extreme Makeover? I don't know if you have. It's kind of a strange show. Sometimes people don't think they look good enough, and so they want a makeover. They want like to change their whole look. Sometimes they do it with houses. They want to change their whole house around. This is how it looks. I don't like the way it looks. I want to change it all around. And there's a show that changes their house, and then the house looks completely different, and the people either go, wow, I love it so much, or they say, what did you do to my house? So this is what they call extreme makeover, and. I, I saw some pictures I wanted to share with you because they, I think they're a good example of an extreme makeover. But this is not with people and this was not with, with um, houses. This is with dogs, okay? This is kind of an extreme makeover with dogs. Here, here this little fellow is before his makeover and here he is after, okay? So he had a, he had a little hairdo or something done there. He got a, went to the barber shop and he looks, he looks a little bit cleaned up here. Here's another one, okay? This is an extreme makeover here of this one. This is before and this is, this is afterwards. All right? And let's see, I got a couple more here. Let me just go to my favorite. Yes, this is definitely my favorite. Here is before and after. That's an extreme makeover. This is the same, same little, little dog. They call this dog Biggie Smalley. That's the name of that dog here. Okay, this is before and this is after. Extreme makeover, a big change from this to this. Now I bring this up today because in the gospel reading today, we read of an extreme makeover. We have these two men who are, who are, very angry, very fierce. The gospel said they were so fierce, nobody even wanted to go around them. They had opened themselves up to, to the devil's influence and they just weren't acting in a good or kind or loving way at all. They were brutal, they were tough, they were bullies. And so Jesus comes up to them, he sees them, he doesn't do anything mean to them or bully them back. But what does he do? He heals them. He changes them. He prays over them and all the evil things that were inside of him, the, inside of them that were making them, that were making them mean and fierce and bullying and, and rough and tough, hurting other people so much that other people were afraid of them. They all left the two men, and the two men were changed. All of a sudden, there they were, one moment, they were fierce and mean, and everybody was afraid of them. And the next moment, after Jesus prayed over them and commanded the evil inside of them to leave, all of a sudden they were new people. They were, they were changed. They loved each other. They loved other people. They even wanted to hang out with Jesus and spread the message of Jesus to other people. So this is what I call an extreme makeover. It's not so much with the way you look. Jesus doesn't really care about the way we look on the outside or what our house looks like. He, he cares about what we are like on the inside. He cares about if we're loving. He cares about if we're kind. He cares about if we pray and want to get closer to him because God wants to get closer to us. These are the things that he cares about. And so there are times for all of us 
Maybe we're not as mean and fierce as the two guys in the gospel story, but there are sometimes things in us that are mean, maybe not all the time, maybe sometimes we get mean. Sometimes we say an unkind thing. Sometimes we're rude. Sometimes we lie. Sometimes we don't do do what we're supposed to do. Sometimes maybe we even hurt other people's feelings. And so we need to ask the Lord every day. I do. I ask the Lord every day to help me to take whatever is not good in me and help me to be loving and kind. The things that Jesus is because we want to imitate Jesus. We want to follow Jesus. We want him to help us. So we're like him. So that's today. I want to share with you extreme makeover. You got Biggie Smalley that I showed you, but you also have ourselves. God can really change us from the inside out. Let's stand up and I'm going to pray over you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, today we remember the demoniacs that you healed. You cast the demons out from them. And you restored them to be as men with their community who cared for others, who could live with others, who loved you and prayed to you and wanted to be with you. Help us also, Lord, to have a desire always to be with you and to get rid of anything within us that might pull us away from you and from our neighbor. We do this with your strength with your power and grace. For you are holy now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is in our midst.